Hello people of YouTube, my name is Steve Gray, thank you for watching. Today we're going to be talking about My Hero Academia Season 6, Episode 6, and let me tell you, it just keeps getting better. Every episode of this season has definitely made up for the terrible Season 5. I hate Season 5 was probably the weakest season. I can't say I completely hated it, because there were some cool aspects of it, but... Season 5 was extremely weak, and this has made up for it in a mere six episodes. Uh, where they're having issues in, with communication in the beginning, um, and Shigaraki keeps hearing one for all in his head. Uh, he now has a quirk of one of the wild, wild pussycats, the search quirk, which can find it and also locate their weakness within a certain radius. So he was able to locate Deku. Um, the, the, uh, we, we haven't really gotten too much information about the whole weakness part of it yet, but uh, based on what the b information Bakugo gave us this episode, uh, Deku is good at using one for all uh, at about 30%, uh, and then occasionally he can do small bursts of 45% power. Um, and uh, it's, it's interesting, this was an interesting episode. We kind of start off where we last with uh, Getten. With all of the ice, uh, although Mount Lady uh, gets a giant bat from Cementos and puts a stop to that. Uh, Toga has gone off the rails since twice died and she's just killing a bunch of the, 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 the bunch of the heroes that are around. She herself is disguised as a hero um, at the moment, but uh, she's pretty, pretty, as you can see, I mean, look at the eyes. She, she's pretty crazy. Um, and I'm probably going to get a little bit more backstory with her as well and see some more information with her because she's going to be a menace right now because she's literally just out there killing everybody uh, that's on the ground uh, that's not <laughs> trying to stop uh, Shigaraki. As you can see up right here, you know, one for all. So he, he is single-handedly after Deku in this episode. He's actually chasing him. Um, Endeavor does this Hell's Curtain move but um at this point you know he's got super regenerative abilities we actually learned at the end of the episode that he's pretty much a nomu now um the perfect nomu because obviously he retains all of his consciousness he retains his being um he is not a walking corpse he is alive and he has you know regenerative abilities uh he has some sort of emp abilities uh basically you know some sort of electrical signal he can create some sort of shield um, and based on the information that they got, yeah, this is the shield that he's creating right here. Um, he has all of All for One's powers. So essentially, he should have the power to take quirks from people. Uh, we haven't seen him do it yet, so I don't know if he actually has that quirk or not, being that he wasn't 100% complete. Uh, I believe he was only like 70 around 70% complete uh, when they broke it open. So he's, he's, you know, he's very powerful, but he's not. 100% done yet, you know, the, I don't know if the doctor, uh, the doctor didn't seem to mention whether or not he was actually fully complete, um, but he did say that he was essentially the perfect Nomu. Um, we have, uh, here we go, uh, we have her quirk, basically, I cannot remember what her name is, but this is the one, you know, she got her quirk stolen a while back, uh, Bragdoll, there we go, uh, by All for One, because she actually saw Deku and saw All Might, um, with the quirk, uh, that that information transferred on to Shigaraki when he acquired the quirk, so he can track down Deku anywhere now, essentially, as, as long as he's in a range of that quirk, uh, he has the ability to find Deku. Um, their babe, Deku finally understands this, he's by all of these civilians, and he was like, alright, we gotta get out of here. Um, so Bakugo being the only one that really understands the situation, uh, goes after him. He, he flies at, he goes with Deku, um, kind of as a backup, you know, he's, he's like, oh, you know, you think this is, you're the main character, and he, yes, Deku is the main character, <clears throat> I hate to tell you that, Bakugo, uh, but it's funny that you say that, um, and Bakugo is basically saying, you know, I gotta keep up with him, I gotta, I gotta keep getting stronger, be able to keep up with Deku, um, and yeah, this is where Shigaraki was talking about how they saw him right before the quirk was stolen, so he has it as well. Um, Endeavor doesn't fully understand. I don't think they're going to reveal the secret of uh, One for All, but uh, <coughs> who knows? Deku is freaking out. Like, you know, but Bakugo feels extremely bad because he feels that he is ultimately the reason um, 
that all for one had to use the last of his abilities you know all might had to use the last of his power um and deku is not up to par yet you know he can't use it at 100 percent so he can't fight shigaraki <laughs> it's not going to happen we're not going to see that fight um it's interesting that Shigaraki's hand is still like this reddish color. Maybe that's just kind of, you know, part of the quirk that it transformed him. Uh, or part of his decay quirk. Because we saw his arm got like beat up and super scarred. But he has a regenerative quirk now. So you would think uh, it would go back to regular human color. But no. And then he's got that little hole in his hand. Um, where he can t he do some sort of ENP thing. Um, I don't know if that's part of the shield quirk. Um... But, um, it, it blocks out everybody's communication, so now nobody can communicate, um, and that's basically all she wrote. Uh, this is Deku, you know, kind of foreseeing him in Bakugo's death. He had in that vision. Um, Gran Torino comes in and saves them, gets them out of the way, uh, out of range. Uh, Eraserhead, thankfully, gets a hold of Shigaraki. Um, and then we have another hero that actually has the ability to moisten uh, Eraser Head's eyes, so he doesn't have to blink in order to, you know, he has to. He basically he can't not stare at, at Shigaraki right now, or everyone's going to die. Um, but at the same time, because Shigaraki's body has been, you know, severely modified, uh, like the Nomu have, he has extreme strength, extreme ability. Um, you know, it's extremely, just extremely powerful in, in, in general. Uh, he has all of these, you know, his muscles are almost at maximum power. Uh, the doctor actually said, you know, he only did it so far because you want the brain to stay intact. You don't want an issue there, uh, with the brain, um, becoming dysfunctional. So there's only so far you can go before it comes into a no move, you know, where they can't talk or, or do anything. Um, at all. Yeah. And, and that's Endeavor saying, you know, this is not his quirk. He's just that freaking powerful um Shigaraki's like yeah i'm awake now like because he's, he's fighting off the number 10 hero in endeavor um so i mean he's he's just bouncing around rancher you know is basically saying like look you need to stay in the area but hide because we need to keep Shigaraki here. For whatever reason, he's after you. Uh, I will, you know, Gran Torino knows the situation as well. Um, but he's like, look, he's after you. You need to stay here because he'll stick around as long as you're around because you're his ultimate goal. And um, that's exactly what they're going to do. Uh, but uh, who knows? This is where, yeah, it does all the EMP things and then it actually awakens Nomu. So there were some Nomu that uh, did not... I don't know what what grade these are. I would say they don't. They they look like higher grades anyway. It's like a crazy dragon thing, teeth going out of where a bat, um, a dinosaur looking thing. I I don't even know something that looks like it's out of Resident Evil. But uh, yeah, some more Nomu got waking up uh, because not all of the containers were destroyed, and then he did it with the electrical surge, and he has the ability to control the Nomu as well. Uh, and that's pretty much all she wrote. Uh, Makia is going to be awakened next episode. Uh, they showed a preview of him uh, fighting Mount Lady. Um, it looks like they're going to hit the back lines, probably. Uh, but, you know, they, they showed Class 1A who in Class 1, uh, 1B, uh, which are all sitting in the back. Uh, you know, as like the final resort if something bad happens. And I have a feeling that they are going to have to jump in there too uh, to take down Makia. Because now we're going to have a group going after Shigaraki, a group going after Makia. And it is going to be one heck of a mess. Uh, excellent, excellent episode. Solid, solid 9 out of 10. Maybe 9, even even a 9.5. Um, that can, I don't know. I don't feel like giving it a 10 out of 10. I feel like... It didn't earn a 10 out of 10, but it definitely earned a rewatch. I'm, I'm pretty hard uh, giving giving any ep any episode a 10 out of 10. Um, I would say maybe the, the, the slight comic relief in there was unnecessary with Deku and Bakugo, uh, where they had that little comic moment, like, like, this is a very serious matter right now. Like, this is not to be taken lighthearted, and they made the way they made Deku's face look there <laughs> for a second. Um... Yeah, sure. We'll, we'll say that's my complaint with the episode. Uh, so what's going to happen next episode is we're going to see how strong Mount Lady is, if she can actually hold back uh, Makia. That's definitely going to be an interesting fight, because we, we haven't really seen a lot of her besides her butt 
uh, almost falling onto fat gum in this episode, in last episode. So, that'll definitely be interesting to see how powerful she is. And obviously, she's got the giant cement bat versus Getton. Um, I'm kind of curious what the other people of the Paranormal Liberation Front are doing. Uh, you know, Dobby, Compress, if they're just going to dip, uh, if they're going to go help Shigaraki. But uh, by the looks of it, Shigaraki don't need no help. Well, let's be honest here, he's he's good. So, I mean, if they if they need to take out Eraser, or maybe Shigaraki is going to try to get to Eraser to take his cork or something. Because we I don't know. We don't know. That's the thing I want to know that I'm hoping gets explained in the next episode is if Shigaraki has the ability of all call for one to take people's quirks and put them in his own vault because uh, that would make sense you know if they're giving him all the if they're giving him that ability uh, then it would make sense that he tries to get erasers quirk uh, along with one for all because eraser is going to be the main issue because sure he's super durable and probably can't be killed by normal means even without his quirks um, he's so still you know he can dodge I mean he has that strat he has the ability to dodge and get out of the way. Uh, so we'll see what happens with that, and maybe some important people might die. That's my guess. Someone probably important is going to die in the process. It's too big a battle to have somebody not die. Maybe who knows? I'm thinking Bakugo. That's my. That's going to be my guess. I'm going to say Bakugo might die in this battle, um, saving Deku, uh, or maybe Eraser could die. Um, I'm trying to think who else. I feel like those would be the main two. My two suspects would be Eraser, Bakugo. Uh, maybe that hero that's giving, um, the, you know, has that water cork that's doing it to Aizawa's eyes. I can't remember his name. I, he, I feel like he's unimportant enough where he could also die too. Um, Mount Lady, 50-50. Um, I mean, I think she's a fan favorite, possibly. Um, but but I, I really don't know. We'll just have to wait and see. Um, Miracle's down for the count. You're probably not going to see her for the rest of the season. Um, that's my guess. Or we'll see her after this battle is done. But uh, dragging it out. We'll leave it there. Hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell, leave a like, and comment down below what you want to see for future anime cartoon-related videos. Uh, Uzaki-chan, probably get a clip of that, possibly today. i got to do a guitar video on my guitar channel, Gray's Guitars. If you like guitar content, check that out as well. Uh, and then Spy X Family. One of those two is definitely going to be a Sunday video. Um, but uh, I, might, I might do both tomorrow, or I might do one tonight along with the review. But uh, we'll see. We'll get them out within the next day or two. Uh, that's what's important. My name is Steve Gray. Thank you for watching, and as always, have a good one.